Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tortuga Pirate's Tale. Uh, if you've been here this long, you know what we're here for, so let's get right into it. Alright, so last time out, if you remember, we had just started on the hardest mode. And we were having quite a bit of luck. We got a second and third ship. Or, I'm sorry, we got a second captain and a second ship. We didn't get a third ship. Uh, but we were look. That's not what I meant to do. We were looking to loot English convoys. So I just need one more. And then we will have Walsh on our side. And I haven't really quite decided what we're going to do with this campaign. Whether we're going to do the quests. Or... Uh, go through the campaign. We'll just kind of see what happens as it unfolds, but we'll let you know when we get to our next English convoy. So we're just off the... Uh, I mean, we haven't sailed very far out, but we've just found a English convoy to capture. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's see what they've got. They've got two sloops. Uh, we may just go ahead and intimidate them. There we go, and there's our third. And there goes our third one. So let's see what he's got for us now. Looks like we need to sink a total of five English ships. Uh, I am debating about, tell you what, we will let them come attack us. So they've got a sloop and a brig. Alright. I mean, we don't really want to intimidate them. We're going to try to take their ships. Uh, my first thought is to slow one down. Maybe use our grape shot and then pull the second one away from them. But we are going to pull back, let them kind of come to us here. Maybe we'll just have Walsh just attack this. Yeah, see, he's, he's already done a pretty... I mean, he's done quite a bit of damage to him just in that one volley. I don't know why it's so hard for me to talk right now. Uh, we can't board that vessel yet. Maybe... I don't like that shot. And I don't know why he would sail straight and then nosedive like that. doesn't make sense. Uh, maybe we will keep heading out here. Let's see what are they they got 24 men maybe we'll just try to board that and I mean we've got a 75% I want to get that critical hit there I was going to say that didn't look so good as far as our probability Okay, and it's on their side that's already been damaged. That's good. We'll we'll take a decent shot there. Not really sure what they're trying for. Oh, they they spun about. Okay, I see you. 
I don't really like that because I just know that I'm going to hit their ship when they come through. Actually, you know what? That'll be fine. And we should be able to get a grape shot here. Get rid of some of their men. So we swept the decks and got nine men. Uh, we could pull up right beside him and do the same thing. It wouldn't be a very good shot. Let's see what do they got. They got 40 and we've got 80. We actually may just try to board that. Let's go for that instead. And we'll take a bad shot here. Send some grape shot their way. Now they're at 30. Alright, and we're kinda kicking butt here. I wonder if we can even hit a shot there. 5% love it. <laughs> Alright, I think that about does it for them. And that that is all their men right there. And we we actually took both ships, that was Pretty good. We just need to sink English vessels, so we're not overly worried about those ticks. Oh, I mean, some cacao and some fish. Alright, that's not bad. Okay, we've got their pirate hideout located. I think it's just right in that cove, yeah. Uh, we'll come back to it, but we'll catch you when we find the next English vessel. All right, so we've sailed uh, twice around these islands, and we haven't really gotten anywhere. Haven't seen a single English vessel, so we're just going to come down here and attack this pirate hideout, and then we will continue further down the coast, because for some reason they're just not here. So we're going to see what they got here. Looks like a pirate galleon. That's going to be pretty interesting. I really really want that ship all right I think we're gonna sail out this way kind of let him come out of that bay he's not gonna go very far which is fine so we'll start to bring these ships about but I think he can go a far distance, yeah. Man, I really don't like that on that side. I mean, it's a good shot, but maybe I should slow him down. 22% oh man I've never noticed that that shot actually looks different that's pretty cool but on this side maybe we do maybe we hit him with a lucky shot here wow he took a long shot there but he did damage most of the uh, most of the armor that I have on that side. Maybe let's see. We got 74, and so that's 140 men. He still has more men than us. I almost think we should board that ship. 25%. Man, we'll just take another shot at his sails. Yeah, 
I think he's gonna come right in between us and shoot both of us now, though. No? Okay. Alright, so he's continuing to hit Walsh. May Man, I almost want to... If we pull him out of here, I think this ship's just going to come back around and face him. So... I was, well, we might just have to do that anyway. Actually, if we run this far, I don't think he can... I don't think he can come about and then come that far. Uh, and this is a new side. I don't like that either. You know what we'll do? We will actually hit him with some chain shot. We will try to slow him down. At 75%, we missed that. That is just terrible. Man, it really might be time to just board his vessel with both ships. Yeah, he's actually damaging the ship itself. I th I think it's about time to just board it. 68%. That's decent. Okay, and now he is engaged. We will move these men forward, and that'll be the next thing we do. Alright, that's good. That couldn't have been any better for us. So, we're going to board strength. We're going to get that 100%. We're going to add 73 more men to his decks. Although that doesn't look so good. And we are actually pushing them. <laughs> oh man, that's wonderful. Yes, take over that ship. That is now ours. Let's see what kind of loot we got here. Some cacao, some tobacco pipes, wood, coffee... Fish, rope, sugar, we got we got it all. Alright, we got some gold and some more experience there. And I really don't even think we have Yeah, we don't have enough of anything to buy anything there, but that's okay. I don't really care for the front end of this ship. Alright, so we got a new flagship here. Compared to the other ships we had, it is quite tough. Alright, so we're going to look for some English vessels to sink here. We'll get back to you when we find them. Alright, so we finally found an English vessel, and we're going to sink the crap out of it. And then we've only got four more. Nope, we are definitely going to sink this guy. He is not going to stand a chance. Not against my galleon. I think the galleon's got long nines is what it seems like. Can't I shoot? Are you telling me those rocks are in my way? Oh man, this guy's got long nines as well. Everybody's got effing long nines and I don't like it. shot off their bow or their stern rather sorry sometimes parts of a ship are hard <coughs> excuse me uh, we can get a bad shot there turn it into a hundred yeah can we do it again though and sink the craft. Nope. 
<laughs> really? Trying to ram my ships, huh? Man, there are no good shots with these long nines. Alright, we'll see the fifteen percent chance and we got it. Okay. Sweet, that's exactly what we look for. Alright, so we uh we don't need to inspect the loot. Doesn't look like there's much anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and find another English ship to sink. We'll let you know when we get it. And it didn't take very long and we found another ship. So we're gonna go ahead and intercept this one as well. Sink them both. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't look like their ships were gonna be, oh, I thought one of them was gonna be a brig, that's okay. So we've got a sloop and a flute. And we should be able to smash them both pretty easily. They may be able to close that gap, I'm not really sure. No? Alright. Uh, we'll go with the lucky shot. Ah, we didn't even breach it. That's upsetting. The men on that ship should be ashamed. All right, there we go. We'll fire on the small one. The sloop, as it were. Oh, there you go. We'll just keep them together. Man, that sloop's tough. Those would be some super long lines. And that's what we're looking for right there. Yeah, we'll fire at the further ship. Alright. <laughs> that was actually a really good volley. I could use... a deck. An extra deck on both of these ships. If I didn't have... Whoa, really? Not really giving me a lot of places to sail here, buddy. 10% will just knock out some sails here. Because I really want to continue hammering this side. It's already been beaten up. Yeah, that shot's not going to be the greatest, but... And by not the greatest, I mean not at all. And I don't know why my tiles are limited here. This is upsetting. So I'm just going to come about. Oh, that dude can kind of eat one for a minute. There you go. I mean, it's not ideal to shoot at the ship right beside you. But that's okay. We still got it. Alright, so we got two more to sink. And we'll have gotten this quest done. Uh, looks like we got a couple of goods there. Some rum, some shot, some coffee, some grain, and some fruit. So we'll let you know when we find two more vessels. Alright, we found one more vessel to take here. We're going to go ahead and sink her. And it looks like a brig. Oh, it's going to be a military frigate. And that's fine. Uh, you'll notice that we changed the guns here on the ships instead of the long nines we decided to go ahead and get some 12 pounders uh, one of these ships had 18 pounders on and the range is quite a bit further so it, it, that's why it felt like long nines um, but we're not gonna worry 
right now about putting overpowered cannons on my ships. That just doesn't seem to matter right now. The weight's going to be more important when we start to add some of the, the uh, heavier armor and things like that. And it looks like he came around and hit my port. But that's fine. We can do the same thing. I think our guns are a little bit larger here. We got a 70. We're going to just hit him with the 100. Oh, and he's coming back around. I'll tell you what, we will go ahead and, yep, just attack both sides of your ships. That's fine. Um, I didn't realize that was going to go that way. That's fine. I thought that ship would have been able to move a little bit more freely. Oh, man, so close on that. That's fine, we'll take a less than ideal shot there. This guy is causing all kinds of problems for me. Alright, we'll take a less than ideal shot there. And we did run into some of his armor there. Come back around and hit him on this side. There we go, that'll be a decent shot. Oh, nope, can't take it. Well, I will say he is kind of beating my ships up for being what was supposed to be a simple battle. Yeah, we'll come hit him on this side. Not ideal again, but that's okay. This whole skirmish has been less than ideal. Alright, yeah, we'll hit that side. Tell you what, yeah, just sink him. Be done with him. Alright, we've got to find one more. Yeah, it looks like we only got a little bit of goods there. That's alright, though. So it only looks like we need one more. We'll bring in. Might be this one right here if he leaves this port, but we'll see what happens. So, we've kind of decided that we're going to go ahead and try this one right here. They've got four... Sh oh, come on. Okay, I was going to say, they've got four ships here. A bark, a brig, a sloop, and a brig. We have the advantage here. We'll see if we can actually maintain that advantage, or if that's something that we will lose. Okay, so it looks like they got to come about. So we're going to go ahead and just take our max distance because I don't think that they can come about and hit us yeah see they should just be able to just come about he just wrecked into his own ship how did they not take damage that's that's what happens when you do that. that's what happens anytime I do it oh uh, bother it's kind of one I mean I can still hit two ships like this but neither shot is ideal. Alright, so... Nope. 50% all the way through. Okay, we'll take that one. And then... We'll take that one. Win that turn. Maybe I should just try to sink this one out right. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think we will. 
But that's what we're gonna do. Alright, one more volley on that ship and she'll be done. One more volley on my ship and I'll be done. Um, that is still a good spot. I bet you I can sink that ship right there. There we go. And the next one here. 25% chance and we missed. That's okay. That'll definitely be okay. 70% we'll take that. Alright, and she's taking on water. should try boarding this ship because this ship that we have is kind of taking a beating and we've already sank one. Oh, we don't have we don't have any action points okay let's get you just the heck out of there then what do you say for a minute just a minute no big deal and then you we're gonna sink the crap out of you you had it coming now it looks like they've got a sloop left I don't think that's a brig it could be a brig it's it's hard to tell I don't know my ships that well okay he's got his action points back but I think that we're gonna keep him just kinda out of the fray for a minute because he does not have anything in the way of defense this ship looks like, oh it it came about I thought it was about to run aground oh dang he's got a lot of mobility there that's that's kind of absurd I don't like this shot but we're gonna take it because there's not a lot that we can do right now about that he might come about and sink us it's hard to tell <laughs> I can move to one spot here okay this ship I swear and as long as they don't sink him we'll be okay here I can hardly wait. but if they sink him we're ca man I don't like that you know what just board him Yeah, fine. Can't board him. Sink him. Now you leave that ship alone. We're gonna have some major problems here. Which side is it? Is it really on the stern? You know what? 16%? I don't really care for that. there we go all right that was kind of scary but I'm glad that we took that chance I didn't think we'd get it four ships on our two I mean yeah they did have just as much those four ships had just as much power as my two ships but I was concerned that with all those extra shots oh now they want me to attack a lighthouse we're going to have to move down the coast a little bit, go repair the ships, and then come back around. So we'll let you see when we go to attack that town. Maybe we can take it the right way this time. Alright, we've made it to Georgetown. I think that we've got to get this ship out of the harbor here. I mean, I think I'm going to try to take it, to be honest. But we need them out of the harbor so that they can't be reinforced. But it's a caravel. That, I believe, is way stronger than any of my ships. I'm not sure how many men he's got, but we're going to bank that we have more men on both of our ships. 
And we're going to try for just a straight away. Yeah, he's got 150, 180 men. So he may open fire on us. But what we are going to try to do is board his ship without him really laying into our ships. We're just out of range there. Well, this is the larger of our ships, so maybe we sail up to him. We then shot him so he can't move as much. Because we're, we're really not trying to breach his hole at this point. We're literally just trying to get close enough to him to board him without it being a problem. 85%. That's successful. Alright. Okay, good. We're pushing his men. We actually have more men on his ship now than he does. But we are going to try to get even more men. And we're still pushing them. We actually might just be able to take this ship with the one. And we still failed on that maneuver. That's, uh... Alright, we got extremely lucky there, and we're just able to take over the ship. So we're going to use that caravel, actually. And it looks like we got quite a bit of cargo there. That's, that's exactly the kind of stuff we want. So we're going to go to our fleet here. Yeah, sorry, we're going to put this on the flagship, and then you can now have the galleon. And let's check out here. So we've got 150 of our 150 men on that. We've got 138 of our 150 men on this ship. Okay, so we're actually looking a lot better. Close to 300 men. I think we should have what it takes. That's not at all what I want. I want to... What I would like to do is hoist my colors. And then attack the town. Alright, so now we're going to use their own ship against them. That's a Queen Anne. We may have to do the same thing and just instantly try to board that ship. It seems to be working out well for us. So I don't see any reason why to change that. Let's take a look here. Alright, so he's headed this way. He should be able to engage us straight off the front, I would believe. Nope, not quite. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and turn up the boarding. We're going to turn it to 81%. percent we us see if we can get him. All right, looks like we did get him first try out. He's got 160 men. That's not so much, I would think. that. Oh, we instantly failed. That's rough. All right, but Seamus is actually pushing them around a little bit. I guess that is the uh, risks you run when you try to board them. Well, did we? Oh, we did get that. Okay. Um, that's fine. Just end your turn for now. I don't think I can... This is going to be rough if I can't move my ships. Okay, here we go. He's going to be the only one that can attack the shore, though. That's going to be unfortunate. Um, nah, just take what you can and move on, because we are trying to get through this just as fast as possible. Let's go ahead and go to the lighthouse. We don't even care. Uh, let's go straight to the dungeons. Uh, 
Uh, now nah, we're just I think we're just gonna go ahead and end the raid there we've got a little bit of money we've still got our men Alright, and we did take that ship. So now we've got ourselves quite. Let's go and inspect the loot. Did they not give us anything whatsoever? Nope. We'll take 19 men. All right, and we completed the prisoner in Georgetown. We got some more loyalty. We got some gold. All right, let's go ahead and check out our fleet now, because we should be... Tell you what, Walsh has been getting the scraps for a while. He can have the Queen Anne. And it's got two decks on it, so that should be great. We may switch the guns up, put two different types of guns on there. Uh, but we'll take a look at that in just a little bit. Let me see what kind of quests we got. I don't think we have any more captains. Oh, we actually do. Okay. So we'll go ahead and make Seamus happy. And we'll get back to you when we intercept General Evans, or in case anything happens between here and then that's interesting. And so we've gotten into it with a Corvette, a Queen Anne, and a military Corvette. We do kind of have the edge on them here a little bit. We're going to see if we can't intimidate them. All right, we did. And... It doesn't look like they had a lot of loot for us, which is fine. But I think that uh, what we're going to do right now is go ahead and put it into port and kind of just end the episode here before we get to uh, the next uh, port. I think that where we're headed to is Santo Domingo and Port Royal. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you.